Hello guys, welcome to Reinforcement Learning Series. In this video, we're going to study about Temporal Difference Learning. So let's begin. So this is an environment. We have a grid. Sorry about my drawing. Okay, so there is an agent and uh, it has some interactions with this environment, this grid. And after a lot of interactions and iteration, it has some value regarding the states. And suppose it is in this state, so value to go to this state, this state, or this. So we'll take this right state. So it has some value regarding this state. So we'll write it as the before value or the previous. This is QSA. And I hope you have watched that value iteration method and queue learning video and if you have not the link is in the description please go and watch this video and uh, so now this agent has has taken that action and has in, in entered to this state so now after taking action so now it is in this state value will be reward plus the discounted factor and the maximum of the value of the state in future it ends up into okay so what is this temporal difference so basically temporal difference is the difference between the current value and the value it has calculated before that's it simple okay so what we have to do we just have to put the values inside maximum of okay so like I'll I'll explain this all let's go on a new page and I'll write it all again so temporal difference is basically the current value minus the previous the basically the difference between the current value and the previous values that is uh, reward and the discounted factor and the maximum of Q say and QSA so this is also a temporal difference okay uh, so you can also write it as uh, the value of like the current value minus the previous value so basically You can also write it as the current value minus the previous value as t minus 1 of some previous time. We just adding the values of time. We are just installing time in our formula. That's it. And so this expression can also be written as uh, so the current value of the state becomes previous value plus alpha times of the temporal difference okay so uh, so let's put the value of temporal difference from this formula to here so this equation will become maximum of the okay fine so this is the current value of the state okay fine so what this 
equation indicates that if the value of so let's go to a new page so okay fine I'll write that formula again so the formula the current value of the state becomes the previous value plus alpha times of the value of the temporal difference that's it okay so basically what this indicate that in case if alpha is equal to 1 then the previous values will all be get subtracted and will cancel out and all we have is the new value and in case if this alpha becomes 0 then the previous value of the the previous q value will become equal to the current q value that's it so the our main goal is to like therefore we have to the keep the alpha value should be between 0 and 1 and as it will allow us to you know learn slowly basically uh, step by step in which uh, q values gets updated with time and at some point this algorithm will uh, this uh, algorithm will converge uh, basically at some time this uh, temporal difference uh, becomes zero and uh, that is a stage where the uh, difference between old values and the new values become negligible so when this algorithm is convert it is not necessary to continue updating the q values but in case you want to continue further uh, like an environment where environment is changing consistently you can proceed further also so this was temporal difference that is the most simple thing in the reinforcement learning thank you for watching the video Please share and subscribe the channel.